r slash ask reddit which high school friend took a path you didn't expect girl in my high school was a terrible human being selfish and totally self-absorbed i couldn't stand her one of the shallowest nastiest people i knew 20 years later she sacrifices her life trying to help save three children unknown to her from drowning in a rip current at a local beach did the kids make it yes she was the only victim 20 years of life after high school is a long time a lot of really good people were at their worsts in high school yeah if present day me was in high school with high school me i would kick my ass my best friend since i was five years old smartest person i ever knew she went off to college and got into heroin she is now serving a life sentence for first degree murder she was the mastermind and the getaway driver of a burglary gone wrong her accomplices broke into a guy's home they were acquainted with tied him up and beat the shit out of him he died of a heart attack sometime during the ransacking of his home or directly thereafter this is heartbreaking i know we all make our own choices and all but duck if it isn't terrible to see how drug addiction can change an otherwise good person the quiet kinda nerdy guy in the back of my ap calculus class is now the ceo of playboy thailand but i kinda wonder what he was doing in the back of your ap calc class to become the ceo of playboy thailand you don't wonder you know differentiating himself low achiever used to goof off in class all the time bit of a class clown used to tell everyone that her goal was to be a trophy wife so she could watch tv all day has shown her designs at paris fashion week and has dressed several celebrities you could have knocked me over with a feather when i was flicking through a copy of vogue australia on my lunch break and there was a four page article on her in there i was so happy she always had a heart of gold and i feel like her teen self was a reflection of what her family thought for her she deserved to be much more than someone's wife that's awesome cheerleader who took a heck of a turn she was an impressive drinker in high school she kept it up through college got a job didn't love it she joined aa met a guy older had nice finances estranged from his ex-wife kids no other family they got married a few months later they're both drinking again within two years he's dead he left her everything she is devastated she goes back to aa met another guy apparently older men who are estranged from their families are super easy to find in aa you got it they're drinking next thing you know he's dead left her everything now she's gone back to aa again she has met the most wonderful man it's a shame his kids won't speak to him and won't come to the wedding it's next month holy crap so do we suspect murder or just dying from alcoholism when someone is estranged from family and an alcoholic it is likely not hard to convince them to get back off the wagon then with too much encouragement they drink themselves to death would it be considered murder i don't know but it's definitely a pattern of behavior and you can be she is aware she's doing it i had a friend in high school who was high achieving academically he was in the top classes very nervous and well behaved in the classroom generally he was mostly thought of as quiet and the guy very few people paid any attention to he's serving eight years in prison for possession of drugs and child pornography average guy at school dead through alcoholism by his mid-twenties it was apparently asphyxiation that got him the ods and suicides are always more surprising than the success stories it really is crazy how people who seemed so normal can privately go so very far off the rails i used to date someone who hid his alcoholism from me many work hard to hide and are full aware that it's a problem when i was 10 i sat next to the sweetest boy in our class all the other boys i had sat next to in junior school were mild ass hats I remember I lent him my Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory VHS and he lent me the Muppets Take Manhattan. We went to different high schools when we were 12. I heard that at 16 he had been arrested for armed robbery. I still can't believe it. What the hell happened to that kind and gentle boy between 12 and 16? Life. Sweet kids can get caught up and forced to do shit by the wrong crowd quite easily. Not a friend. But I went to middle and high school with a girl who went into acting. Became a power ranger. That's pretty awesome. High school meth dealer and local lunchroom pot cigarette vendor ended up being rumored senior year. Two months after graduation they both joined the Las Vegas PD. 
Switch Team Y or N, capital Y. The teams have been auto-balanced. A friend of mine is a talented artist with a deep passion for video game design. He worked on projects for indie devs all through high school, and I thought it was certain he would quickly become an artist for some dev studio soon after. He now works as a furniture salesman. I wanted to work on games since high school, and tons of folks were convinced I'd be working in gaming. After hearing the horror stories about the game industry, lack of job security and constant layoffs, I'm happy as a retail stock person while I try to just do gamma dev on the side. I've also come to the realization that I'm the kind of person that if I turn a hobby into a job it'll kill my passion for it. I did some freelance work for an indie game developer as a freshman in art school. I thought I was destined for a glorious future in illustration and design. I did coffee shop art shows for a decade while working in bars coffee shops. And now to two in a low level seasonal vacation shop and do murals for local businesses. Doesn't sound too off the mark tbh. You're still working with lines and shapes and forms and colors. There was this guy who bullied me and destroyed my self esteem on a regular basis. He became a really successful vegan chef, has his own restaurant, cookbooks, has been on talk shows to cook promote his stuff. Duck him bro. Probably the smartest guy in class but never actually paid attention or did his homework, was always sleeping in class or doing his own thing or goofing off, recently sold his startup for 8 figures and is now back to goofing off. Hey redditor, if you think you're this guy, chances are you're not, pay attention in class. Damn, good for him. A lot of them, I don't know if there was something in the water in our town. A lovely girl in my class had severe anorexia, to the extent she had to repeat the year. She was strikingly pretty, with the face of an angel. Always wondered if she felt self-conscious and grew obsessed about her looks because it was what people valued. Nobody made the same fuss about her good grades or niceness. She is now morbidly obese, couch surfing and pretty much always wears the same big brown coat and tracksuit pants. Was shocked to see her go from one extreme to the other. Still really nice. Hope it works out for her. Another high achiever in our class is now a traveling musician and nudist. She dropped out of engineering and just travels from festival to festival as a concert goer. Dressed as a barefoot rainbow fairy. Self funds by offering tarot readings. Spells. Palmistry. Lived by the creek for a while. Has a Pomeranian. She is pretty cool. Has a lot of hummingbird tattoos and drives around in a van painted in psychedelic colors. You know she's back in town once you see the van. Disordered eating can take many forms. Hope she gets help and can find the help she needs to develop a more healthy relationship with food. The unfortunate thing is that many people's recovery process involves swapping disorders rather than solving it. Like one person I know went from restrictive anorexia, to purge type anorexia, to binge eating, to orthorexia, before finally seeming to reach a stasis of sorts. It's terrible, hard, and really never goes away. Some people think that eating disorders are just about looking pretty and are out of vanity but in reality it's an ultra complicated mental health disaster that takes forever to unduck. There were two that really stand out. One of them was a girl who got in a fair amount of trouble. She skipped school, had a bad attitude and was more interested in hanging out with friends than learning. She ended up becoming a lawyer and eventually became the assistant DA of a city with about 3 million people. The other was a nice guy, got along with most everyone. I even considered him a friend and hung out with him on occasion. He came from a great family and while he didn't get the best grades, he was good at things like fixing cars so I assumed he would end up going into that field. Instead, he started a career in drinking. By the time he was 30 he had been in jail several times, in a rehab a couple of times, had been arrested numerous times, had two restraining orders on him from former girlfriends, and had burned so many bridges with his family they had given up on him. Now in his mid 40s, he still lives in that same town, he looks like he is in his 60s, is on disability, and likely doesn't have much of a future as he continues to drink himself away. Booze is a hell of a drug. Elizabeth the badass party chick. She was the brilliant and quietly rebellious type. 
she was pulling and getting away with shit that most of the guys branded as troublemakers in school could only dream of, because she had the sense and savvy to not show off to the world. She wasn't doing shit for the attention. She was just doing it because that's what she wanted to do. So smoking, heavy drinking, some drugs, staying out all night, whatever, she could outdo anyone else. Anyway a little over 10 years later I caught up with her and found out she was a triathlete and overall health nut. I know this person. I know like 5 of these people haha. Some people just need to get it out of their system and then they're good. One dude who was always a dong to me but hung out with our friend group got expelled in high school for having legit chilled porn on his phone. He moved cities and I didn't hear from him for years. Turns out he murdered an elderly gay man and is in jail now. One super shy quiet dude is now doing time for blackmailing girls and posting their nudes. <laughs> the happy surprise? One of the girls I went to school with kind of came from the wrong side of the tracks. Nice kid, but her family was known to be pretty trashy, and she dropped out of community college to be a stripper. A few years later, she got her shit together. And now she's a corporate lawyer. The not so happy surprise? Dude was brilliant. He came from a wealthy family. He was good at sports. He was a hilarious person to be around. Even at the time. It was no secret that he had his demons. But he was just so damn smart that it seemed like if he could grow out of his adolescent angst. Everything would be fine. Again. Wealthy family. Bright. Good looking. Bro didn't exactly have to hit a home run to do okay in life. I believe he's working part time at the grocery store now, but he may have gotten fired again, or he might be back on disability, or maybe he's working at Pizza Hut, it's always hard to keep it straight, because he doesn't tend to hold down any particular job for long. Honestly, if he weren't such a nice person, there might be a hint of schadenfreude there, but as it is, it's just tragic. He really was brilliant, and he really was a wonderful human being. But there weren't enough advantages in the world to save him from himself. Comma weren't enough advantages in the world to save him from himself damn. That struck a chord. A girl I knew was a strict Christian and floated between groups of friends. Her judgmental side came out from time to time. Once I remember her telling a girl she was going to burn in the depths of hell for having sex. I only know this because I was the lucky girl sitting between them when the other girl jumped over me to punch her. Anyway, after high school, I heard she met a guy, stopped being a Christian and wrote all sorts of oversharing sexual statuses on Facebook. They got engaged and were hooked on drugs. She pawned her engagement ring for drugs and lived above a smoke shop out east. Good news. She's now off drugs. Married and has a daughter. Still posts over sexualized photos and statuses on Facebook. We're good on seeing you in lingerie suggestively laying on your husband. Him this whole time. Not really a friend as I didn't run with their crowd. But like at every school there was a really popular girl. Pretty. Cheerleader. Everybody liked her. Wealthy parents. Etc. I'm sure you knew someone like that yourself. Just maybe two or three weeks ago she got arrested and charged with several felonies for possession of meth, prescription painkillers, and a large amount of weed. I moved away from that town years ago and haven't really kept in touch with a lot of the people from there. However a buddy of mine sent me a picture of the report in the newspaper and was like remember her. Definitely didn't expect it. That's for sure. People who are the center of the universe in high school can't always take it once graduation happens and suddenly the real world doesn't give two shits about you. Guy who sat behind me in hometown was a good student, but not an intellectual superstar by any means. After I relocated to Eastern PA, turns out he was in Western NJ, multi-millionaire, former CEO of a pharmaceutical company, great guy, super happy for him, but truly unexpected. The son of my teacher was a football player, had a beautiful gf, they broke up before he graduated though, and was a procrastinator, once he graduated, he went to work at a restaurant for a year and as far as I knew, he was going to attend college the next year but he had no idea of what his major was gonna be, I just found out 2 weeks ago he got accepted to a local seminary and is going to become a priest, I was shocked to say the least. A guy I was friends with in drama club became a professional drag queen. No one knew he was gay. I almost dated the guy. We made out once on a school trip. It was your fault. 
I would probably be a good post about this but since this isn't about myself here we go. A girl who was in the top 10 of my graduating class had plans to become a lawyer and probably would have succeeded seeing as how her mock trial team won state, went to college and learned she enjoyed the arts much more, briefly become an actress, but failed, moved back home with her parents and started her own photography business but failed, now she is a very successful burlesque dancer, while she has failed in many of her endeavors, I always admire her will to find something new to try. And the kid in our class who some of us were sure would become a mass murderer is now the fire chief of the local fire department. Dude was the typical cokey douche to most people but we got along well enough. We're 25 now. And he moved to Vegas went bald. Put on about 100 pounds and is dating a 60 year old stripper. I was following until you said 60 year old stripper. I. I did not know that there exists senior strippers. Colon friend I'd know since freshman year, 9th grade of HS, home life wasn't stellar, abusive step parent, control freak mom, etc, joined the marines to escape, met someone, got married, had like 4 kids and was expelled from service for medical reasons, got divorced, dad got full custody, so she moved back home and bounced around in a travel trailer with a younger boyfriend, who stole his boss's business credit card before they bounced to lord knows where, last time she surfaced, it was on facebook and she was selling their wedding rings he'd purchased using the stolen credit card, it's a real shame how things went, she'd done well in the marines and even in the early years of her marriage, not sure what the tipping point was, she was furious about losing custody but she wanted to uproot four kids from their home, school, friends and dad side of family to bounce around in a 13 featuring travel trailer living off her $650 in disability. She absolutely refused to acknowledge how horrible that would have been for them. Not friend but high school rival enemy. She was one of the worst ducking students in any class. She did no work. She disrupted the class material by getting into stupid ass arguments in the middle of class with people she didn't like. Go off topic. Call up people on her cell phone in class. And fight with people. She would get up and walk out in the middle of class and had to have security called on her several times for attempting to fight students and teachers in class. To the point where she would just go don't ducking bother. I'll go down to the security office myself after picking a fight with somebody. She picked fights with teachers just as often as she picked fights with students. This is when she bothered to show up for class at all. She was also one of my biggest bullies but at the same time I didn't put up with her shit. By high school I'd been taught well to fight back against bullies. She openly used drugs. Drank. And smoked and she was. Very. Preoccupied with sex. By the end of 10th grade just about the entire student body except for her little squad, who were as shitty as she was, hated her guts, and even the teachers would openly talk about how horrible this girl was and oh dear god, her, which was honestly an a-hole move on the teacher's part, and did nothing to curb her aggression and a-hole behavior. What sucked is that she wasn't this way until high school. I knew her in 6th and 7th grade and she was a very sweet girl, was in the school's advanced vocal ensemble and the band, got good grades, and was generally polite and well mannered in class. 8th grade was when it all went to shit with this girl, and sometimes her nice personality still showed through. It was rare, but it was there. She also caught me reading a Diana Wynne Jones book and admitted she also loved those books and wrote in my yearbook that she wanted to read all the cool looking books she saw me reading. It was the nicest thing she ever said to me before she went back to insulting my intelligence and picking fights with me every damn time she saw my face. She disappeared unexpectedly at the end of 10th grade and did not return to school. In junior year I overheard someone saying she had gone away to Virginia after graduation. I spotted her at the food mart and she actually smiled, waved at me, and said hi. Nova, because she was being nice, I said hi back and asked where have you been, we haven't seen you since 10th grade, how are you, it turns out she had dropped out of high school but had completed her get during her absence, and was now headed for a college degree, all traces of that nasty, disruptive, bullyish girl were completely gone and the last I heard of her she'd gotten her degree and was going on to higher education. I was really proud of her. The 10th grade geometry teacher had called her a lost cause in front of the entire class. Well, I guess she wasn't such a lost cause after all. 
Sounded like there were family problems back at home during that time. I know kids act out when their parents are going through shit. Not HS. But my best friend's freshman roommate was a weird guy. Brilliant. Literally 1600 SAS scores. Full ride. Brilliant. But never really showered. He was dating the sweetest, kindest girl, who dumped him after 2 months of trying to get him to take better care of himself and actually go out and do anything. We try to get him to come out of his shell because he was pretty funny and we liked the guy. After not hearing from him for 15 years, we looked him up. Apparently he co-founded Revolve Clothing, is a multi-millionaire, and parties in Ibiza and shit. I'm genuinely happy for the guy, but I never, ever, expected him to hit it big in fashion. One dude from my old crew died during 911. He was working in one of the towers. RIP Mark. Love your brother. Another dude fell off a balcony in college and became a paraplegic. He was a smart kid, gifted student, but a huge partier. He ultimately sued the school for a shit ton of money, ended up straightening his act out and being very successful. Kudos, Adol. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.